I am a 31-year-old woman, and I've been happily married to my 33-year-old husband for five wonderful years. Our journey together began even earlier, as we spent three years dating before deciding to tie the knot. My upbringing was quite laid back. My parents were always supportive and never pressured me into doing anything against my will, or that I wasn't comfortable with. They respected my personal choices and allowed me the freedom to pursue my own path without any undue influence. However, my experience with my mother-in-law was starkly different. From the very beginning, she was relentless in her efforts to push us towards marriage. While we were still in the dating phase, she was constantly nagging us to make things official, especially since we were both over the age of 25. For her, it was a matter of pride and societal expectation, she found it embarrassing to inform her friends that her son was still unmarried and single. Her constant pressure made our dating period more stressful than it needed to be, as we felt we were living up to her expectations rather than our own. Eventually, we did get married, but not because of her incessant nagging. We chose to marry because we genuinely felt the timing was right for us, and I wasn't ready to start a family just yet. We wanted to ensure that we were both prepared for the responsibilities that come with marriage and parenthood. Despite our sincere reasons, my mother-in-law wasn't satisfied. As soon as we exchanged vows, her demands shifted from urging us to marry to insisting that we should have children. She couldn't understand why we weren't eager to expand our family, and her constant reminders became a source of tension between us. For five long years, she persisted in her efforts to convince us to conceive, disregarding our explanations that the timing simply wasn't right for us. Her relentless pressure made our marriage feel less like a partnership and more like a battleground where we had to constantly defend our personal choices against her overwhelming expectations. In our household, my father-in-law played a rather passive role. He advised my husband to remain silent and let his wife, my mother-in-law, voice her desires and opinions freely. She was undeniably the dominant figure in their family dynamic, and he believed that it was important to respect her authority and let her take the lead. While it's empowering to see a woman hold such a strong position, it was incredibly frustrating for both of us personally. My mother-in-law seemed more concerned with what others thought of her and her family's status than with our happiness and well-being. Her primary motivation was to impress her friends and gain their approval, rather than considering what was best for us as a couple. Her social circle was predominantly composed of older women in their 60s who were equally obsessed with discussing their own children, grandchildren, and the minutiae of their daily lives. Conversations with her and her friends rarely strayed beyond topics related to family and personal achievements, making it difficult to connect on any other level. Despite my husband's repeated requests for her to stop pestering us about having children, she simply ignored his pleas. He even took the step of discussing the issue with his own father, hoping for some support and intervention. However, my father-in-law felt powerless in the face of his wife's strong-willed nature, and refused to take a stand against her. He suggested that we simply endure the situation to avoid unnecessary drama, reasoning that none of us wanted to create conflict within the family. Wanting to maintain peace and avoid confrontation, we chose to suppress our frustrations and continue living under her constant scrutiny. However, over time, this suppression only made it harder to control our irritation with her, leading to increased tension and resentment within our household. Two weeks ago, I reached my breaking point. We had a dinner gathering at our home, and as usual, my mother-in-law was present. I was busy preparing meals in the kitchen, trying to juggle my responsibilities, but she kept bringing up some herbal tea she claimed could aid in getting pregnant. Her persistent comments and unsolicited advice were the last straw for me. Frustrated and overwhelmed, I finally snapped and told her that if she was so interested in babies, perhaps she should have had one herself instead of constantly bothering me about it. My outburst immediately silenced her, and for the next few times we met, she refrained from mentioning babies or pregnancy altogether, which my husband and I both greatly appreciated. We found some relief in the reduced pressure, but it came at the cost of straining our relationship with her even further. We saw each other quite often since my mother-in-law lived nearby and had no sense of personal boundaries, often dropping by unannounced at any time she pleased. However, after my remark during that dinner, her visits became considerably less frequent. When she did come over, she only interacted with her son, deliberately avoiding me as if I were the plague. This change in her behavior made me worry that I might have severely upset her, jeopardizing not only our relationship, 
but also our inheritance, and the house my in-laws had generously gifted us. It might seem shallow and selfish to want to maintain a relationship with in-laws solely for financial benefits, but they were quite affluent, and my husband believed that their wealth would provide us with a more comfortable and secure future. This practical consideration was a significant reason why we had tolerated my mother-in-law's difficult behavior for so long. Additionally, since we lived so close to them, initiating a confrontation over a few irritating habits seemed pointless when we only needed to endure her for a few more years until my husband received a promotion and we could finally move to a different house. Our current home had been a thoughtful wedding gift from my in-laws, which explained why it was situated so close to them in the first place. However, once we had enough savings, we planned to relocate to gain more independence and establish our own space. Living so near to his parents was becoming increasingly unbearable for my husband, as their constant presence limited our freedom and autonomy. His mother's intrusive nature made it difficult for us to enjoy our own lives without her interference. Three days ago, my husband finally achieved the promotion he had been tirelessly working towards for the past five years. All his hard work had paid off, and not only was he being given his own office, but he was also receiving a substantial raise. He works diligently at a bank, and I am a dedicated realtor, so our combined incomes allowed us to live comfortably, though we weren't exactly wealthy. However, with this recent promotion, our financial situation improved significantly, making us feel more secure and independent than ever before. I don't mean to boast, but my husband truly earned this success, putting in the necessary effort while I managed our household alongside my career. He often worked late nights, and together, we had built a life we were proud of, filled with mutual respect and support. The most exciting part of this achievement was the prospect of finally moving out and freeing ourselves from his overbearing mother. Although my husband loved his parents dearly, he agreed that his mother could sometimes be too much to handle. This was why, after our disagreement, she had already started visiting less frequently. We decided to host one last dinner to celebrate his promotion and inform them about our plans to move. Being in the real estate business myself, I had already identified several houses we liked, even if it felt a bit premature. We wanted to mark this milestone and celebrate our hard work with a final dinner together before embarking on the next chapter of our lives. That evening, we invited my in-laws over for dinner to share our exciting news and celebrate my husband's well-deserved promotion. Unfortunately, my mother-in-law was in a sour mood upon arrival, barely smiling or engaging in conversation with me. I wasn't too bothered by her behavior, at the dinner table, it was my father-in-law who dominated the conversation while my mother-in-law remained sullen and disengaged. Her lack of enthusiasm was palpable, but we remained focused on enjoying the evening and sharing our happiness with them. After dinner, it was finally our turn to share the big news about our upcoming move. We were both excited and a bit nervous about how they would react, hoping for a positive response. However, before we could say a word, my mother-in-law stood up to make an announcement of her own. We decided to let her speak first, hoping to keep the evening positive and avoid any unnecessary tension. I'm genuinely grateful we did, because what she had to say took us completely by surprise. She declared that she had removed my husband from her will and would ensure that his father did the same unless we had a grandchild within the next year. She was adamant that she didn't care if we adopted or used a surrogate, she simply wanted a grandchild. According to her, we were a source of shame and embarrassment for not fulfilling her desire to become a grandmother. She accused us of intentionally depriving her of this happiness and threatened that if we didn't change soon, my husband wouldn't inherit anything and all his share would go to charity instead. Her ultimatum was so absurd and unreasonable that we were left speechless, unable to comprehend the extent of her anger and frustration. Even my father-in-law seemed taken aback, clearly not having been consulted about this drastic decision. It felt like this extreme action was a direct result of my outburst a few weeks prior, though I hadn't anticipated her taking such severe measures by cutting my husband out of her will. Her threat no longer held any sway over us, though. A few months ago, when we would have desperately needed her financial support, it might have been more concerning, but now my husband's increased earnings made us financially independent, eliminating the need to rely on his inheritance or assistance from his parents in case of any financial difficulties. We were perfectly capable of supporting ourselves, which empowered me to confront her honestly just minutes after her shocking announcement. I explained the true reason behind the dinner, 
that we were moving out and celebrating his promotion. When she realized that her son had risen to a prestigious position at the bank, no longer just an average employee, her demeanor changed noticeably. She had spent years criticizing my husband for not advancing in his career, yet now he was thriving, managing a team, and achieving significant success at a relatively young age. However, my mother-in-law's negativity overshadowed our accomplishment, making the evening even more tense. I told her I wouldn't allow her to ruin this special day for us. If she saw us as an embarrassment solely because we hadn't had children, she should consider leaving our lives altogether. Her reaction was one of complete shock. She was dumbfounded by my bold response, recognizing that she couldn't retract her hurtful words once they were spoken. Seeing my husband regain his composure after her declaration, he looked visibly upset when his mother attempted to embrace him. He stepped back and finally expressed his frustration, releasing five years of pent-up anger from dealing with my mother-in-law. Watching him cry was heart-wrenching, as he isn't typically an emotional person. I gently asked my in-laws to leave, speaking in a calmer tone to ensure they would heed my request. My mother-in-law appeared distressed and tried to linger, hoping to resolve things with my husband, but I insisted that we needed time to cool down before discussing further. Eventually, they left, and my father-in-law even attempted to apologize. However, his apology felt insincere and came too late, as he had always allowed his wife to dominate him without standing up for his son. After they departed, I spent about an hour comforting my husband, who was still emotionally shattered. It was clear that his relationship with his parents was already strained, and now it was deteriorating beyond repair. There was nothing we could do to mend it, the responsibility lay with his parents to change, which seemed unlikely. They had chosen not to be supportive or good parents throughout their lives, and now, as my husband found success, they no longer deserved to be part of our happiness. My mother-in-law had consistently pressured my husband and never made him feel adequate, while my father-in-law passively watched without defending him. When my mother-in-law called me half an hour ago to speak to her son, I confronted her, insisting that after her hurtful remarks that day, she had lost the privilege of contacting him directly. She would have to go through me if she wanted to communicate, as I refused to let her continue hurting my husband. Unsurprisingly, she didn't take kindly to this and immediately began arguing with me, but I hung up before things could escalate further, not wanting to disturb my husband who was asleep. Subsequently, she sent me several text messages blaming my behavior for the rift between her and her son. She claimed that I was the one causing issues by initially refusing to marry him and now refusing to have a baby. She accused me of being materialistic and turning her son into someone obsessed with money, which is why his career promotion meant more to him than having a child. These accusations weighed heavily on me, making me question whether I was indeed materialistic. However, my husband and I had always valued our relationships, and our decision to stay with his parents was purely out of a sense of responsibility, not for any immediate financial gain. It wasn't fair for her to place the blame solely on me, especially since we hadn't even sought or received financial help from them. Feeling isolated and unsure, I couldn't reach out to my friends for support, fearing their judgments might be biased against me. I also didn't want to burden my husband with these concerns, especially since he was asleep. I struggled to relax, wanting to confirm that I wasn't the one causing the rift, as I never intended to ruin relationships for my own benefit. If I was in the wrong, I didn't want my husband to sever ties with his parents because of my actions. When I confronted my mother-in-law about her removing my husband from her will and labeling us as ashamed and childless, I stood my ground firmly. I made it clear that her threats and ultimatums were unacceptable, and that our happiness and future should not be dictated by her outdated expectations and desires. Asterisk asterisk update 1 asterisk asterisk I'm back to provide an update on our situation. First and foremost, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to everyone for their supportive messages and comments, they mean the world to me. It's been nearly two days since that tumultuous dinner, and my husband and I are still not on speaking terms with our in-laws. They did attempt to reach out, but my husband has decided to cut them off for good. The next morning, we discussed what transpired at dinner, and I showed him the hurtful texts my mother-in-law had sent, making me appear as the antagonist who influenced him to become monofocus. He reassured me that this wasn't the case and even admitted that his primary reason for staying connected was the inheritance. He confessed that if it weren't for the financial benefits, 
He would have distanced himself from his parents long ago due to their lack of emotional support. He emphasized that he didn't care about appearing materialistic anymore, because he had achieved enough as both a child and an adult by enduring their behavior. Now, with his promotion and the financial stability it brought, he no longer needed their inheritance. Moreover, his mother had already excluded him from her will, leaving little hope for any improvement in their relationship. We concluded that cutting ties was the best course of action, and were entirely justified in doing so. Despite his mother's persistent attempts to contact us, including showing up at our house last night, we refused to engage in any conversation with her. Even though I personally wished to mend things, it was futile since my husband wasn't willing to communicate with his mother. He expressed that he was tired of the constant pressure and nagging, and he simply wanted to enjoy his current achievements. His mother continued to text me incessantly, blaming me for the entire situation, and demanding that I somehow fix things, by convincing my husband to speak with her. It was impossible for me to help, when she kept placing the blame on me for her own actions. If she had been a better mother, her son wouldn't be pushing her away, and if she had been a better mother-in-law, I wouldn't have had to let things deteriorate to this point. She was solely responsible for how things had turned out, and I agreed with my husband that severing ties was the right decision. Asterisk asterisk, now update asterisk asterisk. My husband and I have finally found a house, and we're planning to begin the moving process in a few days. Today, he informed his father about our decision to move away, which left his father visibly upset. His father tried to persuade him to stay, but my husband was unwavering in his decision. He told his father that throughout his life, he had hoped his father would stand up for him and confront his mother, but his father was always too fearful to oppose her. This lack of support contributed to the current situation, and now his father had no grounds to complain. Despite his father's disappointment, it was nothing compared to my mother-in-law's reaction to our news. She was utterly devastated, almost to the point of desperation, trying to make her son stay. Yesterday, she visited us once more, but this time, my husband decided to have a direct conversation with her, excluding me to avoid further tension. I stayed in the bedroom, not wanting to be involved in what I anticipated would be an unpleasant discussion. During their talk, my husband expressed his desire to end his relationship with his mother due to her toxic behavior, which had made his life extremely stressful. She attempted to gaslight him, claiming she was only trying to help him improve. However, it was evident that her true motive was to impress her friends and relatives, not to genuinely care about his well-being. If her concern had been authentic, she would have focused on his personal growth rather than appearances. They had a heated argument, and eventually, she broke down in tears, pleading with him to cancel the move and remain under her constant supervision. When he asserted that he was an adult capable of making his own decisions without her approval, she became hysterical, screaming incoherently and flailing around the house in a panic. I overheard her frantic behavior and emerged from the bedroom to see my mother-in-law in a state of chaos, throwing cushions and shouting wildly. My husband was trying to make a phone call, likely to his father, while I attempted to calm her down, only for my efforts to backfire. She then turned her anger towards me, accusing me of stealing her son from her and implanting materialistic ideas in his mind, which further escalated the situation. Fortunately, my father-in-law arrived, just in time, to remove her from our home while she was still resisting. It was both terrifying and heartbreaking to witness her struggle, but I was relieved that she was gone and that we wouldn't have to deal with her outbursts anytime soon. While I felt some sympathy for her, her behavior was undeniably erratic, and I didn't want her or her negative energy around us, especially now that I'm pregnant. We're already stressed enough, and her presence would only add to that stress. We have started the moving process, and are taking measures to ensure that my in-laws won't discover our new address, preventing any unwelcome visits from my mother-in-law. Both my husband and I are focused solely on our future, and desire no further interference in our lives. Our only wish is to embrace happiness when our baby arrives, and I eagerly anticipate becoming a mother. Additionally, I want to share that the reason I was so emotionally overwhelmed over the past few days was because I'm pregnant. Yes, I took a pregnancy test a few days back, and I'm absolutely overjoyed by the news. It feels like the stars are aligning perfectly for my husband and me, all at once, first his promotion, and now the exciting news of our baby. This timing feels just right, and we couldn't be more thrilled to start this new chapter in our lives. 
However, we haven't informed my in-laws about the pregnancy yet, mainly due to the obvious reasons and the strained relationship we currently have with them. In fact, we've taken the step of blocking them from all our communication channels to prevent any further conflict or interference. My husband has also told his father that if his mother shows up at our new house after her recent tantrum, he'll have no choice but to call the authorities to remove her. He made it very clear that he's no longer interested in maintaining any form of contact with her, and his father agreed to stay away as well, even though he didn't seem particularly happy about it. Sadly, my mother-in-law decided to be as insufferably annoying as ever about the pregnancy. She could have simply waited a few weeks to process her emotions and then been a part of her grandchild's life, but instead, she chose to act psychotically. I'm actually kind of relieved that she revealed her true colors before the baby arrived, because I wouldn't want any of her crazy energy around our child, or even myself, especially now that I'm pregnant. The added stress of her presence would be too much to handle, and we want to ensure that our home remains a peaceful and loving environment for our new family member. We've already begun the process of moving and are taking steps to ensure that our in-laws won't find out where we're headed. The last thing we need is for my mother-in-law to unexpectedly show up at our new house once I'm pregnant, as neither my husband nor I want any unwanted interference in our lives anymore. Our sole focus is on building a happy and healthy future together, free from the constant pressure and negativity that have plagued us for so long. All we want is to welcome our baby into a loving and supportive home, surrounded by happiness and without the stress of dealing with my mother-in-law's erratic behavior. I can't wait to become a mother and start this beautiful new journey with my husband by my side, finally free from the constraints and demands that have overshadowed our marriage for so many years.